What's going on? Tyler again, back with another video. So we are going to talk about what wheels fit the G37. You see the thumbnail. You see what's going on. Let's get right into it. All right, so first things first. In my opinion, you should lower it first, either through bags, coilovers, or some lowering springs at the very least. This also ensures uh, better fitment. Uh, you can get better performance through uh, handling. Uh, if you want to go through the canyons or if you want to do some back road spirited driving. There's many benefits to performance and also looks when it comes to lowering your car. Um, but you want to spend the correct amount of money in order to have good look and fitment and have the quality at the same time. So what I suggest is usually looking into brands like BC, Fortune Auto, Stance, or even KW if you have the money to swing it. That's for coilover brands. But if you want to get bags, you can get Airlift Performance. Or if you want some lowering springs, my recommendation is Swift Springs. Alrighty, so fitment out of the way. So what we're going to talk about is if you want to go for an OEM Plus look and its specifications. So the first thing what I have is on my IPL G37 is the IPL wheels are a staggered setup. So the IPL wheels are a eight and a half plus 45 and a nine plus 43. There's many people that also switch out to the Ray 370Z wheels and the G35 coupe wheels, whether you have a Cooper sedan G37. Um, those are varied uh, depending on what uh, wheel that you want to get. Um, some can be square, some can be staggered, but the main um, important reason if you do decide to go fronts of the rays, especially in the 370Z, you want to add uh, 20 to 25 millimeter hub centric spacers from Z1 or H&R. Uh, reason being is if you, to ensure flush fitment, especially if you want to run front 370Z staggered wheels from rays. Uh, the fronts, I believe, are nine and a half plus 40 offset. Alrighty, so the next thing is if you want to do aftermarket specs, like if you want to go to uh, aftermarket wheels, um, in my suggestion, uh, running through various catalyst builds on the fitment industries gallery, you can run on the safe side 18 to 19 inch, nine and a half wide wheels with a plus 15 to a 22 offset to be safe on a G, whether it's a coupe or a sedan. And for the bad guys, to be honest, you can run any wheel setup as wide as a 12 and a half, and sometimes you can get crazy with your offsets into the negatives. Now for the static true warriors, you can get wider wheels, but if you wanna do all that, you're gonna need some grab some quality camber and toe arms if needed, and or you, you can get shortened spindles if you wanna go really crazy with your fitment. I wouldn't cheap out on like Godspeed or any of those uh, cheap brands from eBay just because quality. Now, when people ask me what are the real affordable wheels that would look good on a G37, to be honest, now I have people ask me and DM me on what wheels I should suggest running for them honestly i would suggest getting some affordable real wheels like anki koenig rays or ssrs to name a few real brands if you really want some good wheels you can get like work emotions or you really have the money you can definitely go for a build your own three-piece or two-piece wheel set especially if you're running bags or if you're running static those look good really on show cars and honestly they look good on anything to be honest with you but on the other side of things when people ask me oh, what's the difference between rep and real wheels it depends honestly i avoid xxrs jnc's avid ones you know etc etc sometimes people ask me uh are your esrs real and honestly i tell them the truth no, they're not. They are actually based on a BBS design wheel. I believe it's the BBS CHI, but I did not overpay myself. I actually went to Facebook Marketplace back in 2020 
and got that for under $600, a whole set brand new. There are marketplace deals when you're looking for wheels. You just gotta filter through all the spam and crazy people out there that are trying to take all your money, all the scammers. But just do your due diligence, your homework, etc., and you should be all right. And you can actually find some great deals on there without any trouble. Basically, what I'm saying is don't fake it till you make it. Because basically, at the end of the day, real car guys will spot differences between a real TE37 versus a TE37 wheel. And for the last tip to everybody, use willtheyfit.com. This will also ensure you what your dimensions are gonna look like and give you a rough estimate of what the wheel will look like on your fitment size, if it's gonna poke out, if it's gonna be wider, if the backspace is good. And always check for wheels that will also clear these Akabona brakes if they also come with your car. And also one last thing too, many people also ask what's the difference between uh, negative offset and positive offset. So people always ask me this question, but more so than not, OEM wheels are usually more on the conservative positive offset, meaning that they won't be as concave nor as flush. Um, but the lower the number, the more aggressive the offset, meaning more it will poke out towards the fender. Whereas the higher the offset, the more conservative the fitment will be and the more flushed in it will be. Now we got that all out of the way. I can't wait to see everybody's wheels on their G37. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, give me a uh, like down in the bottom of the video. We're trying to hit 1K before the end of the year. So thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Stay safe.